thanking the EJF Vice President Raymond Anderson for marshalling those presentations. All right, the second place team, Waterhouse. I invite the Waterhouse team forward now to collect their medals. The captain leading them out. Yes, they've been come forward. Waterhouse went down a man early fought back to draw the game late in a regulation time but of course second best in the lottery of penalty kicks it's been a period where Waterhouse have gone close I've seen the title see the trophy up close but haven't been able to lift it to walk away with it today another one of those tough days for this team The veteran Rafiq Thomas coming forward now to collect his medal. He is a part of why they were here in the first place. Disappointment for him once again. Bernardo Thomas showing his battle scars limping. Better luck next time. Same for, for Howell. And there are some youngsters in this team who will use this experience well as motivation for Premier League seasons to come. So, Wisinkos tomorrow award almost done with presenting medals to the Waterhouse team, Marcel Gale will be the first of the coaching staff to collect. This has been a curious period of success for Waterhouse because getting to the final in itself is successful, but the ultimate prize just eluding this man and his team, it just won't stick. And uh, Second place, never easy to reconcile with, but Waterhouse will console themselves with the fact that only one team was better than them over the course of the season. So the Waterhouse presentation is done. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for the champions. 1981, the last time Cavalier lifted this trophy. Some of us weren't around at that time, or many of us here. Ryan Nevis, regional marketing, marketing manager, Kamal Powell, getting ready to hand out the medals. And here they come, the Cavalier boys. Kamal, your first order of business is to hand the St. Lucian his winner's medal. Triumph for the Eastern Caribbean. Carry come alive and well. First winner's medal for the night. Cavalier champions of the Premier League for 2021. Come here, baby. <laughs> Woo! A team of youngsters. And they must be congratulated because this Cavalier project, very ambitious, very bold. Many people said it wouldn't work, that you won't win anything with kids. I doubt if Rudolph Speed got a dollar for every time he heard that he'd be a richer man now. But here he is doing it with kids. And how extra sweet it is for Cavalier to be getting their winner's medal from a man representing the club sponsor, Ray and Nephew.
it doesn't matter if they're not getting the coordination right for the presentation and collecting of the, the, the medals and their prizes. They got the football right, and that's all that matters. Here comes Purcell, a man who came to the Premier League with sandals, came over to Cavalier, and not long after, he's a champion. Look at the smiles, it really means a lot. It's been a very difficult season, played in very difficult circumstances. Cavalier started strong, played strong throughout. And the usual ebbs and flows of a season did attend to their football, but they regrouped. And now they are here after the performance that was enough to get them over the line. Goalkeeper J.D. White, I could hear him telling his coach that, Coach, I told you I had two penalty saves in me, and he produced two penalty saves in the shootout. Cometh the hour, cometh the man. What about Topi? Tall fellow. Will be even taller after this performance and this that he can add to his CV. Premier League champion. One of the speed boys on this Cavalier team, young Atkinson. And they say 10 of the, Cav of the Cavalier starting 11 played schoolboy football in the last five years. That's a measure of the youth of this team. The only exception, of course, is the St. Lucian Loxley, Lox Loxley, who didn't go to high school here in Jamaica. Webster didn't last the trip, but his contribution this season has been sparkling as well. Rudolph Speed's motto is, if you're good enough, doesn't matter your age. And pretty soon, this coaching staff, a lot, a lot is due to them. A lot of respect is due to them as well. A couple of years where they've come close to breaking through, going to the semifinals, they've not quite gotten there. The project seemed to have stalled when Cavalier were relegated not so long ago. Speed didn't waver from his principles. The coaching staff and the management staff didn't waver either. They continued plugging on and they're toasting this success. 40 years, the man says. 40 years. And this is what success looks like, folks. It hasn't happened in a day. It happens, hasn't happened in a year. It's taken 40 years for it to happen. Cavalier with one star before tonight. They're going to add another star to the jerseys after this. Many, many people responsible for what you're seeing here now. And an enduring belief in youth. And this Premier League campaign played in circumstances never before encountered by any Premier League team or teams or competition in the history of this country. And the boys want their coach to come forward. They want Rudolph Speed to come forward. They want you to come forward, Rudolph Speed. So walk forward, man. They say, big coach, make some noise for Rudolph Speed. The king gets his crown. And absolutely nobody can dare call him a court jester for what he has masterminded here. Still more players. Captain Kyle Ming. A man who has worn the captain's armband with distinction, Kamoy Simpson. All right, boys, soon it will be time for the trophy presentation. Somebody needs to hold Webster's gift basket because he needs space to go. So here we go, we're close, we're close. Let's bring out the trophy. Oh, it's right here.
Rashima, Haley Williams opening the cabinet, the trophy is in hand, Chris Williams is poised to lay hands on it as well, and then they'll turn it over to the Cavalier boys. This is the symbolic bit. The hard work has been done. All right, the sponsors have had their feel. When will the captain take charge of this trophy? Here they go, Cavalier Premier League Champions 2021.